Journalism is a noble profession, a profession that has seen many men and women die for the truth. It is also a profession which has seen many sell their conscience on the altar of money. Journalists all over the world are recognized as gatekeepers. We often refer to journalists as the fourth estate of the realm. It is not for nothing that the media is often referred to as the fourth estate or fourth power in some instances. The work of journalists all over the world are critiqued and brought under the microscope of public scrutiny. This is simply because we are charged with the responsibility of keeping the gate as watchmen for the vulnerable society. Due to our critical role in shaping the values of society, it is highly expected of journalists, and rightly so, to adhere to the ethical standards of the profession and to uphold the truth at all times. The Salas newspaper has monitored with keen interest the raging debate over whether Ghana's ace investigative journalist Anas Aremiyao Anas uses the tools of investigative journalism for his personal gain or not. We at the Salas newspaper congratulate Anas Aremiyao Anas for taking investigative journalism a notch higher and in some cases naming and shaming and exposing corruption including crimes against society. However, we are worried that in recent times doubts are being cast on our branch of journalism and critical questions being asked of our integrity. This worry has inspired an interest in getting to know the truth or falsehood in the claims that ace investigative journalist Anas Aremeya Anas uses the blessings of journalism to extort and blackmail people for his personal gain. On 31st May 2018, Hafiz Abdallah popped up on Oman FM and Netu TV to allege that ace investigative journalist Anas Arimia Anas demanded and took $50,000 from him to help him out of a case he was investigating. He alleged that this was after Anas had come with the police to arrest him in his house in the dead of the night. He asked you to pay 50000 yes. to quash yes. the so story. Yes. Okay. Yes. So why didn't you show those videos? Because you showed the custom officers, you showed the judges. And when he came to our time, because he took the 50000 he didn't show it. You understand where I'm coming from? So right. Yeah. All I'm trying to say to Daniel is that this guy is not correct. He's not a correct human being. Mm. Because he comes to do this thing, goes to edit what he wants, add and minus what he wants, like any uh, movie producer would do. You understand that? Okay. And that is exactly what he's, do he's doing. It's a movie that he's producing. So how would you clear your name and build your reputation back? It's up to him to come and tell the truth. Okay. For he's not as the angel they want him to be. He's not an angel. He's the most corrupt guy. And I challenge him to come and say he hasn't gone. He didn't take my money. He can go to any shrine in Ghana. I will be there and tell him that he has taken my money. And in the right. north, we have bigger shrines. So he right. can come to any shrine. He knows he has taken that money. We ask, are these allegations true? The solace digs deeper. In 2009, Hafiz Abdallah, the CEO of Hafred Company Limited and Adema Na of Tamale, was arrested in his house at Spintex suburb of Accra. Hafiz was said to have defrauded Omega Strategic Services of about $1.9 million for the non-supply of gold. Our checks revealed that Omega Strategic Services originally contracted Almort Company Limited to supply the gold and further contracted Halford Company Limited to provide security once the gold was supplied by Almort for onward transportation to Omega Strategic Services abroad. However, upon the payment and receipt of $1.9 million, the buying company Omega Strategic Services did not receive any gold nor had their money returned. Omega Strategic Services then contracted investigative journalist Anas Aremeyao Anas to track the owners of Halford Company and Almond Company Limited. Records available to us indicate that indeed Anas investigated the matter 
successfully tracked the suspect and had the police arrest only Hafiz, even though Anas had the others on record. Anas sets out to mastermind and conspire with the other accomplices to shift the entire case on Hafiz. The agenda to fix Hafiz was all because Hafiz was being stubborn, according to Anas. Why would Anas do this? When he had successfully investigated all the suspects, had video evidence of their own confessions to committing fraud. In the following undercover video, the Salis reveals how Anas met one Mubarak and Babatunde who are implicated in this gold scam in an obscure place in Accra New Town, a suburb of the capital city. The meeting is to frighten the suspects and get them to discuss business. This was to get Hafiz to go down alone. Anas is heard speaking to a senior police officer to the hearing of the suspects. This was to instill fear in the suspects and prepare the grounds for business. Hello, Chief. Hello, Chief. Yeah. I'm strategically placed at New Town. Yeah, I have him. I have him with me now. Yeah. Yeah, Chief. I'm not arresting him. I'll take him to the police. He will follow me. Baba Dunde. Yeah, he will. The other guy. I'm still on it. I'm going to meet him right now, Chief. Yeah. But I'm playing everything cool, cool. He's well known. If it doesn't happen, we'll pick him up. All right. Thank you. It's in September 2009, one hot afternoon. And Anas Aremeyao Anas, Africa's number one investigative journalist, goes to meet the suspects in the deep throats of Newtown, what could easily be called in Ghanaian palace, the Lungus of Newtown, to wit, the nooks and cranny of Newtown. It is interesting to note that this case had not gone to the attention of the president at the time, but Anas Aremeyao Anas is ahead saying even the president, John Evans Atamels, was aware of the case. This was all to intimidate the suspects. Why was Anas using the late Professor Mills' name in such a conspiracy when indeed the president knew nothing about this case? The suspects, Babatunde and Mubarak, explain their situation to Anas. They speak in Hausa. Salam. Ah, very far. Sara. Mubarak. Yeah. And can you move? Yeah, I am. I'm not sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> I know this man, I do this, I will show how this way is not going Maybe she uh, can be in what do I know I'm going to do? I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I'
ina ce mishi gaskiya ni bani cikin gari amma ya barin su actually if it's 1.9 i cannot confirm but i knew me part of it i'm part of parcel of the whole thing so we am back at five hundred thousand dollars as your personal benefit no. myself baba and everybody we took 200 and something first that is cities cities 200 and something, something million no. He brought us 140. He gave airport 40, 140. Oh, see this one. He gave airport 450. I gave Baba. I gave that boy with the leg. Jack, mm -hmm. And then the goose owner himself. He said, in all, we couldn't do it more. In all, now we're in the zoo. We're in the zoo. We're in the zoo. We're in the zoo. We're dollars draft. draft. I signed it myself and took it. Canada draft. I you know. Right. The suka kira ni the first thing they put in front of me was wanga. Now do a picture, now na check. I can check one point nine million dollars. Government is very angry. Maybe back as Sunday, but but in spite of the slim body, the cool me. No, no, no. I know you. I I know your boss very well. He knows me very well. I was in the military for fifteen years. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Look at him. They kizu a ni. I was young. Ni na fabisu. Kaje kaka kira sunar kache mubarak. Sunar mubarak said. It's a shidi ya se debe wase da ni kuraji life. So. Da kabani se akafadi fadi akafadi. I na che okay. Enzo Mukwege so, so that she will soon as soon time be that prince, the all the accomplices in the crime. Prince is not here. Prince is in Kutoni. Not by prince, but oh, uh, 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 half is, but half is like a transfer. Half is. It's a stupid. He doesn't know. It's it's a stupid man. That Nini immediately comes over now. She no, no. At this stage, as president of the country, what can I tell him? Kagani. I can't president. No, everything has been blocked. There's a letter has been sent to the bank right now. It's left with three hundred thousand dollars in From his account. Ghana's top investigative journalist, Anas Aremiao Anas, tells the suspects to forget about Hafiz, the CEO of Hafred Company Limited, and rather concentrate on how they can get off the hook. A letter is being sent to... This is a national issue. What about those who transfers to Ah, now the transfers will all reflect. So they will start moving. Quick. So you should have come about. No, hold on. Uh, first of all, I think that you have to clear yourself. That's the most important. To the police? Yes. I think you have to clear yourself. Yes, you have to know, know the story that you are going to, which will be credible. First of all, I will present, me, Yafim present stories to the people, to the high up, first, before. Mm. This is business, purely business. Anchi, anchi. Me, mm. I don't lie. Okay. Baba, can I understand? You shouldn't lie. And everybody knows his business. Sure. It's not drug. It's not drug. It's no. not metal. As you said, yeah. it's, it's not metal. It's, it's a transaction between two other. Okay. Two okay, now, my, my understanding of Abin Nanduka. Mm. Okay, you are not deeply, your signature is not there. No, 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 no. Me, I did not intend, but you have to matter in Project Baba. But where I'll be deeply involved is I now went and collected the money through my account. And then give it to the other people. Yes, and they, because they are trailing all their accounts. I think very fast. They are trailing all I their accounts. Think smart and very fast. 
I knew very well. So, me all along now, I knew very well that years ago, I'm going to block with a fast Afis account over there. No block within now. Then from there, it will not go to a stand that this. They will start to settle everybody from the angles. Kagana, she muzona. So that it will not go far because already Nina Gamishi asked that she can enter that she hey, you have to take security money. She tell me she that is that money come out. It's true, but just she can soon enough to do other people. It's too late. It's late. Me by kira ni by heart. I don't do. I can kira ni de. Case in your back. Whatever is going to be said, say what they say. Don't think about him. Think about yourself. As for me, my involvement is not too much. See the English, see the bad. My involvement is not too much. My problem is now the account. Because now he he seems to be pushing you. He seems to be pushing. No pushing, they keep pushing them. I brought that boy. I brought him in friends. Kagana. But I was so sense. I was. I was so sensible enough. Very smart. Kagana. Because normally, in cases, in Ezo, I can go. He knows that Nigeria is not going to be able to do it. Kafen To Baba Ma, now present passport. You see, Nigeria is not a mistake. Because in that one, in that, in that such thing, that Baba now, who want to fight? Nigeria is not going to be able to do it. Allah, now a big mistake. Very, very big mistake. Mills is very angry. He's very angry. Ghana? Suwa! You understand who? Ghana can have 5 big money. 10, 15, 20 million in this country. People are even, sitting even down. Nigerians, even Nigerians. Nigerians are taking and are sitting down. They cannot do anything. My brother, my and what they, about? Don't, they don't even invest the money here. They take it away. Okay, so now let's look for a way out. I think that um, as for the money, they will trail it. I know because Egbert is already at the bank. Egbert Fabio Jr. Junior. Lawyer, take toll on that. Egbert, like I said. The investigation is here. I'm a no no. Kagane, my baboon and nature. It's here. I'm a no no. But you have seen me. Don't like this. In the case you could not find. Kagane. So see, uh, could it now? Now what can I Five hundred and something no, thousand no. dollars. I can show you. I can take it to my bank. No, so how much? I can take it to my bank. It's about seventy five. Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five draft in our arena. The first money he transferred dollars. The first money he transferred is one hundred and ninety-five. I can tell you. Okay, fine. The one hundred and ninety-five. Now hold on, hold on. The money is one point nine million dollars. Now, if they decide not to trace all the other accounts, how are they going to retrieve their money back? No, me and my group and Babadia group. Listen, he did only one transfer. The rest he to draw it. Cash to other people. Me, he told me that uh, fees does not like to pay. Oh, it's difficult. Kagana, you're you know, you know, putting $75,000. How we draw you? $75,000. Mm. $75,000. Draft the bank. I'm $95,000. I'm not going to pay for the bank. 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 Into my account. Yes. He gave me a draft of one hundred and ninety-five. This one is here. In this case, that's your money. For you to enter to withdraw. No, no. When I even withdraw, sir. When I even withdraw, it will create more problems. More problems. What the the lawyer should do is, in the army of she has a lawyer, Kagane. Yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Man. Guess yeah, she brought her. She go yeah, go the one she go the yeah, go soon soon at. I'm a guess guess. Unge, I'm just guess guess. And transfer. Kagane. One hundred and seventy. Huh? One hundred and ninety-five. One ninety-five. One ninety-five. Transfer. I mean, that's a thing you put. You have me another check. Hey, hey, about about another check of seventy-five thousand. 
How do we know that may transfer putting Nayaba address? Because the whole transfer idea, and yes. how do you also know that when he's in trouble, he's not going to say he's giving you one? He's not going to. He's not wise. He's so stupid. He doesn't know business. I'm Are you getting it? Mm. And they won't spare him. No, but I'm a Kagamba. Problem with Naniba. Other people, they buy him. That's why he's not going you like me as a brother because of a brother because of what we know. Mm. And when the story is coming, mm. everybody protects whatever he has. Mm. Mm. Me, I've already tell you the truth. Mm. I can take you to my bankers here. I can now back a draft the two officers took a sign from Amal Bank. 195,000 US. They asked at yesterday's one, I'm mm. going to to Allah. But say that she bank him, but don't ban him now. I told you he was in the room. Kagane, I was not there. So, as I came yesterday, Naji and I company account. Then I saw she brother and I. The difficulty is that. Kagane, so that I can redraw that one and give it to Baba. So if the man begins, H.O. Baba Mubara Kaka. In that Sunday, Prince, you have passed to Prince almost about 400,000. You have to play. Serious. Ah, you have passed to. You have passed to. You have to have an asset. She can't do it. I'm sorry. This is for I've given them the money. I've given them this. I've given them because see, I want to program three days ago. I can't say King Garishi number. She, na sani. I na fadi ma. Na fadi ya sponsor. It is say to a reg. It is in a bar. How do you do, Kai? You get the beautiful girls. Girls. I don't want to see the bar. You understand? Even DJ and the general can be checked now. Before I leave to Lumen, that is why I want in the morning. I want them to collect the draft quickly. Kagana, DJ and the general can be draft. So myself and Baba, we don't have Baba Day. Then she did within the passport issue. That is one. Nina, wa my account issue is one of it. Is that I will not say I will not be passed. Pass account to the bank. But when she see her, she have one. Go back and see. So she can with you. You withdraw. When she run about the motor, I see this. Go back and see. The person who couldn't be Mubarak Ebani was in serious. Of course. And in the maximum, they don't give. They don't give dollars. They are no. They give. Now, Mubarak Ebani is a business. Yes. 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 Yes.
But first of all, what I will need you to do is a proper confession that will put him in the hand. Mm. She, no problem. Because she, they, I mean, he's a dead man already. He's such a foolish man. No problem. Yeah, I want to buy. So, if you have called me, now I will say, Look at Allah. This thing will be present. It will not get like that. So basically what will be needed is a statement ma ba yenzu ngaba na so yenzu ya na 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 so yi kare yan shi kare ko se ayi kare ya dewa kare ya kare aha to nge kare kare yan shi she muzo mugana bin dazai ama de ba ni su nan bank kan what's the name backless backless bank okay i just hope that he transfer to only one bank this only one bank if it's me alone cause among the people it's only me who is seven in backless I hope he didn't make any other transfers because bank mm -hmm. nine one two three, two three and she wait. This is what I'm telling you. If you go, you can check. It's only one. You can check from the Amar Bank. It's 195. Yesterday he gave me a draft of 75. So Sunday can you come block or get a ban in one life, big brother? I'll never do it again. I will try. I will try. Not try, but it's a very difficult. Because event. if this does not come in, then I will not come into the scene at all again. You understand? Now. The only thing I'm going to defend is this man. Kagane, I'm going to defend Baba throughout. Whether life and death, I have to make sure Baba is out of this case. Okay. Now, I'm I have to go and sit down. Now, I'm too tired. I need to think. And anytime can call, we are coming to you. Allah. Come on. Get yourselves ready. We should be visiting the police with a nice story. Don't worry. No, forget about it. What you have to do not have to do it. You have to do it. You have to You have to do it. 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 do don't do the manja, eh? Mm. 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 Now, nah, okay, nah, they am so tired. No nah, I will no send, maybe I may send, not send Baba uh, Oh, could relax. Mm -hmm. Let's use our heads first. Uh, we need to use our heads now. It is shocking how such a revered investigative journalist will stoop so low and allow such a crime to go unpunished. Anas even goes ahead to reveal how the banks are treating the bank accounts of the suspects. What is extremely worrying is that Omega Strategic Services contracted Mr. Aremeyao Anas and paid him to investigate and assist in retrieving their money and also get justice. However, the ace journalist rather chose to strike a deal with the suspects. We at the Salis believe that journalism must not be used to coerce 
and obstruct the natural course of justice. So we ask again, who watches the watchman? Hafiz Abdallah has gallantly said on radio and on TV that Mr. Aremiya Wanas took $50,000 bribe money to end the case in 2009 after publishing many stories about him in the New Crusading Guide. The New Crusading Guide is a newspaper jointly owned by Mr. Anas Aremiya Wanas and Mr. Abdul Malik Kokubaku, a veteran journalist and spokesperson for Anas Aremiya Anas. The paper published a story on 15th of September 2009, which was scaled by Ghana Web entitled $5.7 million gold scam, Hafiz's Swiss bank account exposed. In the story, Anas indicated that the end time had come for Mohammed Hafiz Abdallah, the CEO of Hafred Security and Touch House Production. Anas stated in his September 15th story that per the investigations he had conducted in collaboration with some so-called international journalists, he had uncovered that Hafiz Abdallah had stashed a whopping $5.7 million in a Swiss bank account which was opened on August 12, 2008. The story stated that the said $5.7 million was Hafiz's part of the booty he got from the gold scam. He also stated that this scam was executed with some accomplices who, according to Anas at the time, were begging him for forgiveness. Anas also referred to a video recording he conducted showing the accomplices begging and trying to negotiate. We state on authority that the video Mr. Aramayao Anas referred to in a September 2009 story is what you have earlier seen in this expose, where the ace journalist as heard and seen in a meeting with the suspects in Accra New Town. What could have been the motivation behind these stories in 2009, published in the New Crusading Guide? And why has Mr. Aramiyao Anas failed to show the world this undercover piece? When is Tiger IPI ever going to show to the world this undercover video in which he catches scammers confessing to defrauding a foreign company and how they shared the booty and how much they promised to give him. On 4th June 2018, lawyer Egbert Fabio Jr. posted on his Facebook wall that he was the lawyer in the gold scam case and the case was duly prosecuted. Anas duly investigated and caused the arrest of the suspects. But what lawyer Egbert Fabio failed to do was to tell the world how the case ended. We ask, was there a judgment? Was it a conviction, acquittal, discharge, or both? Or maybe the AG filed nolly prosequa. It's interesting to note, on Saturday 2nd June 2018, Mr. Abdul Malik Kwekubako, spokesperson for Anas Aremiya Anas, said on news file, and I quote, the case was presided over by Justice Quist, and along the line, something happened, and everything became basa. What happened? Could allegations of bribery, blackmail, and selective naming and shaming being leveled against Mr. Anas Aremea Anas and Tiger IPI be true? We at the Salis newspaper sincerely hope not. Days after assuring Mubarak and Babatunde of his ability to influence the outcome of the gold scam, Anas goes to the office of the prosecutor in charge of the case to plan how to skew the case to implicate only Hafiz so that the others will go free. This was all to force Hafiz to pay $50,000 bribe to him, Anas. Off, off your phone. Hafiz quickly went back, convinced Mubarak that, what's your problem? It's 1.9 million dollars. I've shared it to the police stop. So the case won't go anywhere. So spend yours, let me spend mine. That's what I feel like. So his mind changed. He knew about the issue. And he said he was very, first he had heard so much about me, so he said he was very shocked about the details that I had gotten in the matter. And that he was very scared about the issue. That's his biggest worry. And he said he had been so foolish. 
anything in the matter was by telling her that her face should transfer a portion of the money into her Egbert. account as part of his booty. Mm. The way they blew the money, mm. girls, they some Miss Malaika people, and then some Northern chiefs. He brought about 30 Northern chiefs. Now, one Northern chief, if he's coming, he has about the entourage of 25. He what brought them back. Uh, so he said he organized some peace, something, something concert for them. Money. Peace concert. Well, uh, 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 organized a national theater and brought all the northern chiefs, brought all musicians, Miss Malaika, like, paid everybody. That's what I think they did. And then bought, concert. yes, bought Tuareg, uh, Tuareg. Get uh, uh, all for the girls they had not seen. Keep them. Anas shows the footage of his meeting with the suspects to the prosecutor. It is sad how we abuse the tools of investigative journalism to aid the obstruction of justice. What could the motivation be? Let me do the first one mm -hmm. before I move on to the second. This was the two day video. Okay. I hope the sound quality is very good. Is My good. cameras are professional. It was very early in the morning because mm -hmm. that's the only time. And he was very scared. He didn't want me to come to the house mm. to see. Yeah, so I didn't to leave. Yes, I will tell you. He says that when he calls all of them, nobody can deny and that they have not been truthful to him. You know he's an ex-military guy. Yeah. He's an ex-soldier. Yes. Yes. I don't know for what, what he was this next. His father too was a military officer. He's a bad guy. So he can shoot, he has a very skill. Should I call my banker? Yeah. He wanted to call his banker there and there. When did like they can't me if I'm calling my bankers. There's nobody <laughs> who responds and know that. <laughs> oh, God, I'm messy. Yeah. He won't hide. It's a fraudulent thing. Shuffle everybody so that it will not go in anywhere. Mm. Really been working, 
This was all in a move to twist the matter. He further tells the prosecutor that due to his relationship with Baba Tunde, he was bought with hundred thousand dollars. To him, his demeanor, one point nine million. From where? Who did they take it from? And he started telling me how the people came here; they were working with them, and how you know. So at that time, they buy me with hundred thousand dollars because he he somehow relates to me. Somehow I don't know. So the two of them. No, it was the Baba Tunde. He now wanted to fight for himself. Mm -hmm. The prosecutor also inquires from the ace investigative journalist how much she used to be paid and Anas assures her. The prosecutor tells Anas how they all want money and the ace journalist exclaims, exactly. She goes ahead to tell the journalist how it is important for them to twist the evidence he has guarded to suit his presentation. Anas also tells the prosecutor he paid the then Director General of the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service, DCOP Adupoku, on behalf of the suspects. They have. Because, yeah, I went with the police. I then, then, uh, Edupoku mm. was then the CIA boss. Mm. So I met him and I gave him $75,000. It is not shocking that all the suspects have been free since 2009. The Salas states on authority that as a result of what the suspects paid Anas Aremeya Anas and the state authority, she failed to attend several court sessions and the judge had no option than to dismiss the case for want of prosecution. As rightly suggested by Abdul Malik Kwekubaku, this Gold's come case was before Justice Charles Quist. And along the line, something happened and everything became bizarre. Now we know what happened and how everything ended up bizarre. Thank you for your attention. Obiyanene master, master. They fu okura o master, master. Kennedy e Japan o master, master. Me e o master. Ifi a shama ti e lusu gad, me e o master. Ni a match ni e lusu cap, o master. Ti gana kosi Trinidad, master. Oluwa be the only one. You see the difference? We say I am born to lead, where you you are born to follow. I be mafia ya ronzongo, me a they do they they follow. Pepe them be the shit up They be a for as a moo as a point up I'm a mabu mabu eh Are you my ko yi kuo My love and a wo kata fio a ba chiko I'm a mabu mabu eh Why you the disrespect When me forgive respect Disobey you go fall instead You for the year award and keep in check We as him obi a wane master Master Obi a nene master Master Bay fu okura wo master Master Fene di e japon wo master Master May I master? Me I master. Me I master. The nation bleeds when her watchmen stab her in the back. The nation bleeds when her watchmen sleep on the job. Corruption is the bane of our national development. Many governments have tried to stem the raging wave of corruption, especially in the police service. Many attempts have been made to expose, name and shame bribe-taking policemen. Yet, the menace will not go away.